Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing how you can install a graphical user interface on a Ubuntu instance on Amazon AWS. In my previous video I have already shown how you can install EC2 Ubuntu instance on Amazon AWS. If you have watched that already, you can skip ahead of this video. If you haven't yet, just follow along. As you can see, I am already logged in on my Amazon AWS account. So let me click on services, then compute, and then EC2. Now just click on instances. Here I can see all of my instances. Now I will create a new instance here. So let me click on launch instances. This is the new launch instance window. So let's go ahead and create one. First I will give my instance a name. Let me call it Ubuntu GUI. Then I will select an OS image. Let me click on Ubuntu. As you can see Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is available which is also in the free tier category. So let me select this one. I'll keep the architecture as default, which is 64-bit x86. Now I'll select the instance type. Here T2 micro is free tier eligible. So I'll select this one. Then I will create a new key pair. Let me give it a name. I'll call it Ubuntu GUI. And the rest I will keep as default. And then click on create key pair. So the key pair has been downloaded. Make sure you save it in a safe location. Because if you lose it, you won't be able to access your instance anymore. Next I will edit the network settings. So click on edit. Let me scroll down and click on type. Here I'll select all traffic. This is not recommended but we'll go with it for now. Then select the source type as anywhere so that I can access my Ubuntu instance from any IP address. Next I will change the storage size to 10 GB. You can get up to 30 GB for free. And I will also change the root volume as GP3. In the advanced tab, I will leave everything as default. You can see the summary of your instance on the right side. Just have a look at it and then if everything is fine, just click on launch instance. Now the instance will be created and launched. Let me click on view all instances. This is the instances window. Let me refresh it. As you can see our newly created instance is booting up. Now it shows running. So let me put this window aside. Here is the key I downloaded earlier. Let me put it inside the keys folder. Now I will select the newly created Ubuntu instance. As you can see this is the public IP4 address of this instance. Next I will click on connect. From here I will select the SSH client tab. Then I will open a terminal window at my keys folder. Now let's copy the first command and paste it inside the terminal. And press enter. Then I will copy the second command and paste it in the terminal. Let me accept the fingerprint by typing yes. So now we are logged in on the Ubuntu instance. Let me minimize the browser window. First we will update the server. So type in sudo apt update and upgrade. And then press enter. Now the server is up to date. Let me clear it. Now we'll install a desktop environment on the server. Since I'm using only one gigabyte of RAM, so I will install Kubuntu desktop instead of Ubuntu. So let me type in 
sudo apt install then kubuntu desktop and then press enter now it is asking for confirmation it will need around 3 gigabyte of additional disk space so just type in y or simply press enter since y is selected by default now it will download the desktop and install it it will take some time so i'll come back when the installation is finished now there is a security information let me go through it select ok and press enter Now Kubuntu desktop has been installed on the server. Let me clear the window. Now we'll install X2Go server. So let me type in sudo apt install X2Go server and X2Go server X session. and press enter enter again so the x2go server has been installed let me clear the window next i will set password for the user ubuntu so let me type in sudo password and then ubuntu and press enter now i'll type a new password and also confirm it so the password has been set successfully now i'll simply reboot the server so type in sudo reboot and press enter while the server is being rebooted i will install the x2go client on my local desktop so let me open a browser window and search for x2go click on the first link from this page i will download the x2go installer if you are using windows you can download windows installer since i am using mac i will download the mac installer as you can see the installer has been downloaded on my desktop so let me minimize the window now I'll simply open the installer. And drag it to the application folder. So let me close this. And also eject the installer. Now I'll run the x2go client. So I'll search for x2go client on spotlight. As you can see it cannot be opened directly so I will open it from the application folder. Let me click on go and then application. Now I will right click on x2go client and then click on open. As you can see x2go client has been opened here. So let me create a new session. I will give it a name. I will call it Ubuntu GUI. Then in the host field, you have to use the public IP for address of the server. So let me quickly copy that. And paste it on the host field. In the login field, type in the username which is Ubuntu. We'll leave the SSH port as it is. Then we'll select the RSA key, which is the key we downloaded earlier. Just give access to X to go. So click on OK. And then select the key for this Ubuntu instance.
In the session type, we will change it to custom desktop. And also use the start plasma x11 command. Then I will go on the input output tab to change the default display resolution. You can set it to anything you want. I will set it to 1800 by 1000. Once you are done, just click on OK. So this is our new session. Let me close the application window. Now simply click on this session and it will try to connect to the server. As you can see there is a warning that we have to install xquartz. If you are using windows you may not have to install it. But for mac I will quickly install it. So let me click on ok and ok. Let me quickly open the browser window and search for xquartz. Click on the first link and download the installer. Let me minimize the window. As you can see the installer is downloading on my desktop. Let me open it. And open the package file. Click on allow. Now I'll quickly go through the installation. Continue, continue, and then click on agree, and then install. Now that Xquartz has been installed successfully, I log out and log in again. Now I logged back in. So let me search for x2go client and open it. Now before clicking on this session, I will replace the IP4 address since the IP4 address may have been changed during the reboot. So let me copy it. And then click on session preferences. Here I will paste the new IP4 address. And then click on OK and next click on the Ubuntu GUI session. So there is a warning if you trust the host key just click on yes. So it is trying to connect let's wait. As you can see the Ubuntu desktop is booting up. So this is the Kubuntu graphical user interface we just installed. Let me quickly type in my password and then press OK. Now you can use this session as a remote desktop from your local PC. The response is not so fast since I am using only one processor and one gigabyte of memory. If you want better performance you might want to upgrade your system. So that's it. This is how you can install a graphical user interface on Ubuntu instance on Amazon AWS. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.